Hey guys. Um, there we go. Hopefully that didn't make too much noise. Uh, what is up? Uh, I just had to move my mic if you heard anything before. Um, I'm here for another little... Um, today it's going to be more like a tips and tricks. Um, it's not really a tutorial or anything. I'll be just showing you something. Um, basically what I'm going to be showing you is in Cinema 4D there's a tag called the display tag. The display tag has um, a lot of neat things. Um, let's see, I'm going to put two spheres in the scene, like so. And instead of, and you can like change the, your display to like uh, quick shading lines and everything. But let's say you just wanted to make one of them lines. This is where the display tag comes in handy. You can put it on your object by right clicking your object Cinema 4D tags display. And the very first thing under tag is shading mode. You can change this so only one of them is under um, a different kind of display or shading mode. You can change the style or anything. Uh, you can change the level of detail so that um, you can have zero level of detail but you render it, it's perfect. Um, it will be easier on your computer. And then when you're ready, you can just crank it up. 1000. That's really high. But yeah, um, there's also a cool thing about this tag is um, there's a visibility option which can be good for intros or something when you want something to fade in and out. Um, as I drag this up, you can't see it in the editor view, but um, you can see it when you render it. If I put this to 26%, you can kind of see it. Um, if I put this down to like 19%, you can barely see it. When I turn this to 100%, you can see it. So if you wanted something to fade in, you can keyframe this by control clicking and then changing it, control clicking, doing all that good stuff. Um, I don't know what the back face calling textures and all that means. Uh, textures mm, don't exactly know what that means. Um, but another neat thing about this tag is, um, let's say I have a sphere here and it's going to make a nice little hop and I'm just going to keep, okay. Now we have our sphere and it makes this little hop, I guess. And, um, there's a thing called ghosting, which basically shows, um, uh, it's hard to explain, but if I do this and I click it on, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see these yellow spheres going up, 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 and they're see-through, and further they get away, um, more they, uh, become visible. That is because that is the future keyframes. So if I click play, you can see uh, the sphere follows these uh, other spheres. And uh, the white-ish blue ones, or the gray ones, are the ones that already passed. And again, further away, um, the less visible they are because... And uh, you can change this to point mode so you can see the points uh, it's really hard to see for you guys but you can see there's a yellow dot right there um, there's a axis mode which it shows a little axis right? it's kind of hard to explain that one uh, the trail is basically your spline that it shows multi trail is all of your vertexes that the sphere has. Um, velocity is some little dots. Uh, I think object is your best bet for this one. Uh, it looks nicest, easiest to tell. 
Uh, you can change this to 12 frames. This is frames before. See, I can change this to like 80 frames and 80 frames after. And um, you can see it's a constant. It shows the entire thing, uh, frame step every three frames, every uh, 34 frames. You can have every one frame. Um, you can change the colors of the before and after. Oh, that's pretty neat. And then there's just there's a lot of cool things with this little tag that you can do. It's very useful. But um, you guys should play around with this tag. See see what you can do with it. Well, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this tutorial or this tips and tricks. I hope you found it useful. Um, comment, like it, subscribe. Do whatever. Alright guys, peace out.